Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video, and today we are back in the beautiful, beautiful world of Memories of Mars. If you didn't catch my last video on this, please do go check it out, I'll link it... Oh, that is an enemy right there. I'll link it in the description down below. Uh, we don't have any bullets, and I kind of need to get into there. Yeah, so I kind of know what I'm doing today, obviously having played before, so I know what I'm doing. Ow. But if this guy could, like, not attack me... Yep, grab that. Ow. Kinda need to get out of here, just picking up everything. So the beauty of the fact that I've actually played this game before now means that I have an, a very simple, minimal grasp of what I'm supposed to be doing. So I know, if you look top right hand corner, flops. It's a weird word for it, but they are the most important currency in the game. That is what I use as sort of experience points, um, in terms of how I learn to learn weapons and learn sort of things on the skill tree. So before we jump any further guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to 505 Games who invited me back after the first video to sponsor a second video so that I can have another go at this game for you guys. So we are still currently in the closed beta, that's when I'm recording this. However, when you are seeing this video, as of Tuesday the 5th of June, the game is now live on Steam. So you can link, the link to it, buy it is in the description down below. So yeah, I've got plenty of ideas today. I know what I want to do. I want to try and build a base. I want to try and get loads of loot. I want to interact with other players. This server is packed. And yeah, this is, if, if I can find some bullets for my gun, I could go and take on all of these bloody monsters. So yeah, if you didn't watch my first one, video, essentially this is, oh, pulls, there are fucking things everywhere, man. So much more loot where I know where to look for it now. This is great. Sorry, did I just did I just find a pulse excavator? Yes, I did. Okay, so that oh, for the love of all that is holy in the world, right now. These things are everywhere today. I barely encountered any before. So yeah, like I say, first things first. We need to hit up all of these buildings that we can and try and oh, that right there is a flop event. Stamina seems to be coming back super slow today. I don't know what that's about. Oh my god, if you could like not be everywhere till I found some bullets game, that would be great. Oh my god, they're fucking everywhere! Oh my god, I'm in the field of them. We need to get out of here. Don't die on me now, stamina. You're gonna die on me now, stamina, aren't you? I think they've changed the stamina since I last played because I do not remember it being this low and like it taking this long to restart. And I think that's a big thing here. Obviously this is still the beta, so there is, there is an option for things in the game to change, so I think I've got to make that clear. Yeah, you guys seem to really enjoy watching the last video on this, so thank you for that. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one too. Please do check this game out if it is something that you guys are interested in. Is that... is that what I'm here for? No? Now these are huge. This is what killed me when I first started playing. This is essentially an area where you can just refill your oxygen. Bottom left, look. It's awesome. But yeah, finding this pulse excavator is awesome. This means we can farm resources and stuff to build our base, which is sick. Do I want to go over there? I think I want to go over there. Let's have a look around the... Oh, Yeah, let's just hit this up, try and find as much stuff as we can in here. Hopefully no one else has been here before me. Magnesium, iron, I'm sure this is all going to help us along our quest. Just want to grab everything we can. Our inventory will get full pretty quick, but I'm happy with that. I'd rather that than not have enough stuff, you know? Oh, what the frick? Ah, you're in here! Ah, fucking son of a... Oh my god, loot! Loot, 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 loot! You can't come upstairs, right? I've not gone up the stairs, I fucked it. Shit, they can come upstairs! Wow. Wow, oh my god, I'm getting absolutely bloody attacked here. No! Ow. I need to regroup here and find some bloody meds. I sure I have some, right? Surely to god. Dry ration, oxygen, flashlight, honey, GG, food pack, biomass, acid. Consume, let's see if that helps in any way. While I'm waiting for my uh, stamina to increase, I might as well grab some of this. Essentially, you need to find enough flops to learn to craft these sort of tools. But like, I found one, so I can sort of hold back on that for now, which is awesome. Alright, dead quick, just before I get attacked by a million spider monkeys, stores flops for base upkeep. Right, we don't want that. We want... Alright, so we want to go to the skill tree, we want to go to building, we want to unlock... Well, I just want walls. Wall engineering. 
No, I want foundation. So we want to unlock the square foundation to learn that, so that's 10 flops. We want to unlock the wall, which is 10 as well. And we want to unlock the door, which is 10. And we want to unlock the actual door. That's a door frame. Can I not unlock that? What have I done wrong here? Oh, I have to buy these? Re decreases the amount of flops required for maintaining doors. Decreases the amount of research for, for building doors. Oh, go on, we'll get that on there. Now we've got to get that, and then we've got to get that. So we need a load more stuff so we can finally build a base. But no biggie, no biggie. I do quite like that. I'll give you that. I do quite like that. But we need to find more flops before I can build a door. So, oh, there's just... I can't get over the amount of more, like, PvE enemies they've put into this game since I last played. It's actually crazy. Right, we'll keep a little bit in, in in supply. We'll keep a little bit in reserve just in case we run into any big issues with the oxygen. You get a lot of flops from defeating enemies, so if I defeat these, um, these spider things or the snakes that keep attacking me, but I need to find bullets for my gun. Now, if I missed bullets for my gun in the sort of open room, Welcome, like the sort of opening clip to the whole game. I do apologize. I oh come on, they're everywhere. On the last round of the game, I ran around for probably half an hour and saw like one guy, one enemy. Now I see them every two seconds. What's that? Adrenaline shot. All right. Biomass again and some more biomass. Right. So what we've established is. I have found bullets, but they are not the correct bullets for my weapon. Are they? I'm also going to say no. <gasps> they are! Yes, let's go! So I get scrap metal from, uh, from getting them, and I'm now out of bullets again. Yep, great. Right, this is exactly where we want to be. There's going to be loot here. If there's more spiders... Oh my god, there's more spiders! Last time the cities were pretty empty. Oh my god, they're everywhere. This is... There are too many PvE enemies, I'm sorry. In before they can open doors and get inside to me. You can literally farm pretty much most things in this game, which I like. Gives you a really, like, different option of getting some stuff. God, they are everywhere, bro. That's a big mother trucker, that. They run off then, and now I'm out of ammo again. Oh. What the fuck? H how did you get up here then? You want to explain that to me? What? That one just disappeared, so that's a thing. Right, gotcha. Oh no, the fucking... Can I shut that door? No, of course I can't. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? What is going on? Oh my god. Look how many there are here. Okay, so obviously the cities... Let me through the door. Let me through the door! Let me through the door, game! What? Oh, now I'm out of stamina. What is... Um... Alright, okay. I guess. That is... That's a tricky one. <laughs> okay, so they've made it so the... The cities are very, very hard to get flops and stuff from, so you can only go to the cities now if you're actually fully loaded and I've lost all my loot now. Okay. <laughs> Time to restart, I guess. Yeah, we're all good. I was just... We're all good. I got my fan on, windows are open. I'm cooling down a bit. It's an incredibly hot day today, so I just gotta gotta just gotta chill. Okay, we're back at the place where we died. Oh, why didn't I wait when I had more stamina? God, look how many are there! Ow. Where was my stupid body then? What is going on again? Run, run, you silly little man. Okay, we got all our loot back, guys. I think. Yeah, we did. Stunning, stunning, really good work. Really good work. It's going dark as well. Okay, let's let's regroup a second here. Let's try and see if we can build a base. Just a little one. Just something a little bit small. I can't build a door yet, but I just want to kind of see 
what sort of aspects to it there are. Okay, so there we go. So I think now, with my utensil here, that costs some iron. You cannot build here. Oh, right, that's because I've got this out still. I wonder if these have like a soft side and a weak side. A, a soft side and a hard side, I don't know. God, this takes so much stuff, actually. This takes a lot of iron. We haven't actually farmed any resources like proper yet, so. Right, we have a foundation, guys. Do these take iron as well? Right, everything takes iron. Okay, so everything takes iron to build. This is the first time I've done any building on this game, guys, so this is pretty cool. Right, we need to find some iron. So, I wonder what these are here. And farm. Iron. Alright, so I'm going to spend the night then, just farming up some stuff. Obviously, I don't have the flops for the door, which is going to be a problem. But, well, well, I'll catch you in a minute after I farm some of these rocks. Quite like this where I've built here because if I do get this up, because we've got the pipe there, look, and we've got a place to refill our oxygen. We've obviously got the town over there to hit up. And there seems what I have found with this game, which I quite enjoy, because obviously this I'm kind of doing like a review here and a playthrough at the same time. I like to think in my head, so I really like the farming aspect. It seems to be pretty easy to get the loot, the loot and stuff to build a base, which I like. Farming is not too tricky, so let's get. Yeah, we got. Have we got enough iron to do this? No. How do I make iron then? Because I got loads of fucking iron. I got loads of iron ore. Requires refinement before being suitable as a crafting component. Right. Okay. So I need to. I need to do something with that. I need to. I need to refine it. Okay. Found it. Blast furnace. Refine it. Capable of processing basic materials. Requires two vertical walls. We need to get the scrap grinder first. Although, do I already have that? No, we need to repurchase the scrap grinder, then we need that, which is 80, then we need that, which is 80, and then we need that, which is 30, right. See, the bit I'm at now, the tricky bit I'm encountering, is the fact that I'm obviously playing this solo, um, in a game where I am struggling to really get a big foothold on it. Because obviously I need to practice loads, play loads of hours, etc. Like any game, like any game, so you know, so you understand what you're doing. What I think now that the game's out properly... What's going to be really fun is to play with some other people. I think this game is made, and I know you can play it solo, but I think it would be so fun to play with some friends, play with some comrades, some just casual acquaintances. Press to loot. Oh, okay. Someone has already looted these goodies. Someone's here. Someone has killed all the enemies. Yeah, someone's... I'm definitely on the trail of the man that is killing all the enemies. I killed him! I killed him! Oh my god! I just killed the guy! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, look at my health! Look at my health right now! We just made the play of the century! Oh my god, okay, we've got everything. Um, I need s can can we put that on? Right, have you got any food, dude? Because I need to I need to heal up here. Biomass. What does that do? That's oh, a crafting component. Right, you've got no way of healing. Right, let's drink the lemonade. My health is dangerously low. Okay. Let's... Before you take, like, one hit, we just bled out. I have no way of healing. That is so stupid, man. No way of healing. You had nothing. Oh, we made the play as well. Ship! Shipwrecked on the blue seas. Hello? Hey. How you going, bro? Well, I got I'm one hit. How's he not dead? He is dead. I'm gonna die again though. Give me your loot. God, you had uh, next to nothing, Callus, and now I'm gonna die as well. I hope you're proud of yourself, sir. But guys, I think that is unfortunately all I've got time for today. I'm sorry I didn't get the base bill. I'm really sorry about that. But I, the problem was sort of finding flops and getting flops and exploring this world sort of took precedence for me today. And I'm really low on time now. So I do apologize. I hope you guys... Oh, God, Jesus. No, 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 no. 
I hope you guys did still enjoy a little bit of a wider look at the world of Memories of Mars, because I think this does look like a stunning game. I mean, look at it. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like and a comment down below if you are interested in seeing some more Memories of Mars videos. Do remember, the game is out now as of June 5th, and a massive thank you to you guys for watching, but also to 505 Games, the developers, for giving me the opportunity for sponsoring a video and letting me play this game before it came out. So I've got the video ready for you guys for today. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys are having an incredible day. I will catch you in the next one. I've been Tills. I'm going to go searching for some more flops. This is my mate, Jim. He will catch you in the next one. Peace out.